everybody. Today me and my little niece Ashley are going to take you for a little um, walk around Sherrard's Resort. It's 4th of July so everybody's up here. So I just want to take you on a little tour so you can kind of get a um, feel of the essence of the whole place. So let's All go. Right, here we go for a little stroll. We're going to leave from my campsite. There's my nephew Rich sitting relaxing. And we're just going to take you around the back side and do the whole little grand tour of the place. So it might be a little bit long of a tour for some of you. I know you can fast forward. I don't mind. I won't be upset if you do. So I already gave you the camper tour of my place. So this is just like, oops, sorry, Biffy. My canoe is. And we're gonna go over this way. And if you see my, this is my brother's camper and he has a, we think it's about a 1970s vintage camper also. And he's got it all set up nice and he has his whole family over here this weekend. And we have Mike and Teresa and Nina and Lisa and my brother Donnie. And they're all sitting by the relaxing and whatnot and Donnie's little puppy dogs. And they got a fire going in the middle of the day because that's what you do when you're up north. Say hello everybody. Hello. hello. So this is the next door neighbor Wally's place. Wally has a 1960s park model and it is all vintaged out. I got a sweet talk for that fella someday so I can get a nice little tour of his. This is the entry road into the campgrounds. I know it's going to be kind of a little long walk, but come along with me. So he has a very nice place. He is not on the resort per se. He, that used to be on the land that was originally with Sherrard's Resort that um, Bob Sherrard, the owner, had sold off. Apparently back in the day Bob had pretty much most of this whole side of Big Blake Lake and just over the years he needs to support his family and whatnot and they're not needing the land he sold it off little by little. So this section of the campground that we're going in right now is called the garden section. I don't know why there's no gardens over here. So um, this part when it rains really hard gets a little bit flooded sometimes so a um, little bit damp and wet. We're kind of up on the little the grassy knoll of the park. And this is my brother's other camper that my brother Donnie stays in and all the guests in the family that come on. Along with my camper, because it's large. My little um, niece Ashley's walking around. She's having a little juice box. It's 4th of July. You got a little bit of everything up here for campers. And um, this place is owned by the Barts that's over here. And this is kind of the back side of the campground. So you're going to see some of the little older campers that are up here that have been up here forever and a day. Some of them are still mobile, some of them I don't think could move, but isn't that cute? Little Avalon. I haven't seen the inside of theirs either. I'm gonna go and start knocking on some of my neighbor's doors, take a little put peek inside. Everybody's got little like shacks or lean tos, and now this place is so cute, and this really doesn't come up very often. But I just love that. Is that cute? And it's got a little overhang on it, a little porch. I just love that. And this is, if you look over there, that road going off up to the right is a dead-end road and that has a bunch of people that live in houses. It's all pro privately owned property. We drive our golf carts up there just to go for a little ride. Sometimes you gotta be quiet. They don't want you tooling around. So this is the very edge of the resort. There's a house next door there. A little barbed wire fence. Be careful. We ran in that before on the golf cart. It's not fun. <laughs> and some older, but here's another little older one. I'd say a good portion of these like that one or like from the 70s. And been up here and here's the round the back property line and this is an old old one we had looked at this at one time it was for sale years ago cute cute inside and they got a little lean to you couldn't do that anymore you can't build these little um, add-ons in these resorts anymore they're grandfathered in and we'll walk around here and here's a nice little camper another older model and they have that for sale and they're only asking um, $1,300 for it. Is that cute? I just love it. So, go around here. We know, I think I know almost everybody up here now. And over here, this is where my friends, the Gadians, live. That's their, um, newer. It's gorgeous inside. Full bedroom in the back, one in the front. I think you can sleep like 10 people totally. And then you have this one. And that's Mary's and they have the primo spots because their yards are overlooking the lake. Isn't that nice? And we're gonna walk down there too and you'll see there's some campers down there but there's the lake. We're on top of a little hill here and then this is Mary's. Oh, she's got the best spot. Overlooks everything, gets a little breeze. 
some people up have really decorated their yards really cute and uh, you can see some of the um, places that have been up here because they've built they've um, planted hostas and stuff and here's an old look at this is this cuter somebody made this and it's they don't use it anymore but they built this little fire burner and it's out of an old stove an old oven from the like the 40s or 50s isn't that cute and some of our nice little neighbor girls you don't mind if you're on my youtube channel do you all right very nice kids and um another one with another little built on that's pretty much this whole section of the park there's an old storage shed down there sorry it's kind of bumpy we're walking it's kind of uneven ground and there's the lake area again and there's one of the old um porta potties not porta potties i'm sorry oh it houses so there's only two of the original ones and there's a uh, cement one that was <clears throat> made later and here's kind of the back side the garbage area of the bar i'm taking here on the old place what the heck this is the back side and as usual, I probably won't edit any of this. We'll just do a free walk. So this is the um, parking lot and this is the hill that's across from the tavern. This is kind of like the um, non-permanent people. They come in and sell tents and campers. And as you can tell, it's 4th of July. You're getting the whole feel. There's the Sherrard Homestead, the original house. It's over there in the little parking area. And everybody's hanging out by the bar right now. Everybody wave. No, nobody's waving. Ashley will wave for us, won't you? There she is. She's a sweetheart. So now we're gonna take a little walk down by the yep, down by the water section. And I think you probably, if you watch some of my other stuff, you've seen um, some videos of this part of the park. This is where the um, original dam was, and it was a, a rock dam, and it got blown out this year because of ice and stuff. And now it's just kind of a makeshift thing, and we're waiting for the DNR to get it all together and then we're going to put up a, a larger dam because their water level has dropped a couple feet because of that and I am very sorry if we're getting wind across like we've done that in the past. So I know you guys have seen this. Yep, it's 4th of July. And then this is the little lower road that we're going to walk up right now. And um, the people that camp over here and stuff, they use this road and it's kind of a hangout. We set up our chairs here to watch, sit and watch the lake or watch the fireworks or whatever going on. And here's our little dock area. Got all new docks this year. They're really nice. It's really nice and warm. So for every holiday, the um, bar organizes a um, beanbag tournament, which everybody comes up for. And it's kind of an all afternoon event. I would like to do it, but it's too long for me. And I, kind of get bored so here's the docks and if you look right up here that's the overhead deck that they put on to the resort and it'll sometimes they'll have and they have it set up today which is very nice so everybody's on here playing bean bags and stuff and they got a little system all set up where they have a little um, container on a roll and then you order your beer and they trolley it up and down here and so you can have your beverages while you play. And then this is the little additional um, deck that's added on. And you're like, why isn't that a permanent structure? Well, the um, deck that's, the little deck that's towards the back is on the bar, but you can only build or have any permanent structures so many feet back from, or by the lake. So then this is a detachable that's only put on there periodically and used. Um, so they're within the DNR guidelines for the lake. And also the people that run this or manage this always plant these great big tomatoes. And they're such a temptation because they're, um, when they come in, they're just huge and big. And you can just see the little baby ones. They're starting to come right now. Yum. Fresh tomatoes are delicious. So here's the lakeside and there's Ashley with a juice box again. <laughs> Hi Ash. She's my favorite little niece. She's a good girl. And then here's just the whole lake. Everybody's kind of hanging out. But he's got their families up here. I just love it. Me and my family, my parents of course started, and the rest of us, but we've all been coming up here since 1995, since my kids have been like two and four years old. So we've been coming up here for lots and lots of years. We just love it. It's a whole sense of family. Um, I'd probably say half of the people in the park are people that I originally grew up with in a little teeny town called Rock Yellum. And everybody hangs out. So now, 
as you can tell, we are on the lake. So this is the lower section. I'm gonna give you a shot up, and there's a little um, road. It's not a road per se. It's just people that camp down here, and they use it. It's not a fall-through road. It's just a dead end. So there's a couple campers down here. Not a lot. It's gorgeous to be right down on here on the lake, and I love that, but it is hot. They don't get a breeze down here, and it is warm. In the spring, in the lighter summer months, it's nice, but if it's a hot day like today, it's gonna be, it's like gonna be 90. It's gonna be schmelz and warm down here, so everybody's kinda got their little home thing all set up with everybody, and um, some nice people. These people, and that's uh, Kevin, our neighbor, and our friends, and they all knew my mom and dad back in the day are up here so now we're gonna go back we have to kind of weave through some vehicles here and we're gonna go back up the back steps and then we've almost completed our whole um, tour uh, excuse up. me we had to make a little pit stop I was walking between all the vehicles here and I found a uh, checkbook with tons of money how much money do you think was in that Ashley um, 10 bucks maybe 10 or maybe a hundred I don't know but there's a lot so we picked that up and walked it back on over to the neighbors so we're gonna go up the stairs next, and this is all kind of a steep wood, and they put new steps in here, which is really nice. And you're thinking, what, they're kind of, no. They're nice and sturdy, a little bit steep, so let's walk up. We're gonna go right up. This is nice, so that way you can go all around the whole park, and you don't have to go, you know, backtrack and go back the other way. <gasps> Look at the little puppy dogs. This is puppy dog heaven up here. Supposed to keep them on a leash, but as long as they're with their master, um, they're able to walk around and stuff. My puppy dogs usually stay with me. But if they see a chipmunk or something, they take off. So now we're gonna go, and this is the middle section. We kind of did a roundabout up and around. This is a little middle section of the campground. And then there is the biffies there. They're outhouses, latrines. <laughs> but we have our, as you know, porta potty, so we don't need to come over and use that. And another little cute place. Oh, there's just so many cute places. And like I said, you just love to go knock on somebody's door and say, hey, can I come and <laughs> snoop in your place? But do that. So right here, I'm a little out of breath. <laughs> right here, this was all campers. Right here, this is all campers at one time. And it's all open. And on top of the hill where that camper is. But you know, people just don't have the time to get away like they used to or they can't afford it. You know, it's not only that, it's very reasonable up here priced. It's only $900 a season. And that includes everything, electrical, water. We're gonna make a little pit stop here. Oh, a little dusty, sorry about that. <laughs> this used to be, so anyway, as I was saying, just the, it's not only the cost of the campground, it's the uh, expense of, the gas and the accoutrements and the extra stuff you buy when you come up here and you can be thrifty when you come up here you don't have to spend a lot of money just don't go overboard just keep it simple and so now we are on the top of the hill from the resort and it kind of overlooks the lake and the far parking the homestead and then there's the tavern and like I said the camping area you can see way back in the distance behind that car, there is the old bridge that used to be over the river before it got taken out last year's ice and that we have to now get um, the DNR to finish up the, the bridge for us. So here is the back side of the homestead. It's a big house. It's got the basement, the main level, and so it's really because the basement's a walk up three levels. And here's some of the kings and their parents manage the resort. I grew up with them in Rock Ellum also. And here's an old, they don't use that, it's an old oil. And here, that is, if you walk out, it goes to the lower level, that was for cold storage. Back in the day, they didn't have all the refrigeration and this and that, so you cold stored what you could. And then right over here, is along the back river end and I'm sure Shirley Shirley and Jim this is the people who manage the resort for the owners Bob's um, children inherited it and um, Shirley and Jim manage it for him so we're just gonna sneak back here so you can see the um, back area 
So we already saw the lake. The lake runs into a little teeny dam area, a little creek. And then that comes back in here to the Fox Creek, which is absolutely beautiful. So this, that's, this is the back area. A little back fishing pond and gym. Let's put a nice little dock in there because the fishing is awesome back here. If you ask, he'll let you come back here fishing. And then there's some back in that you can see way back there. The um, river goes way back and then the Fox Creek eventually runs into a larger river for our area and it's called Apple River. This is just kind of their back area. Just kind of sneak through here. I don't like to walk through other people's yards and stuff, but when I've done other stuff here, Shirley's was like, that's okay, go ahead. Thank you. So now we're going to go up the hill. Ashley's a little trooper. She's following us along. So then this is the back hill that there is a road and you can drive up it, but it's kind of steep and kind of ruddy. You'd be taking your chances. <laughs> Bought it out either on that or on a piece of root or something. And then this road goes clear back around and meets the main road there that goes down to the cavern. And where are we? We are back at where we started. We're back at my trailer. Kind of got it opened up, trying to get some air going in through there. So we are back home and we need more grass. Thanks for um, coming on this little tour with me and Ashley of the resort. It was very fun, had a good time. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, just love it, it's just so cute up here. And um, thanks for coming with us and everybody have a great holiday.